Okay, let's say you have a test machine and you've got a Docker image loaded, uh, everything's running fine, everything's great, and now you want to push this onto another machine or onto, say, a live environment. So there's um, basically there's a few steps you need. Um, the first step is to save the local image as a file and then um, on the target machine, SFTP, into the test machine, grab that file, download it to your local um, live machine and then load it into Docker. So let's do that now. So on the test machine, you will see that if we do Docker images, you'll see we've got a image called test image. Now what we're going to do, we're going to basically extract that into a single file. It's going to be a tar uh, gzip file because it's transferring over a network just to make things a bit quicker. And we'll do that now. So the command that we need is docker save and then the name of the image so it's test image and then we are going to pipe that to gzip so we'll do that now with gzip and then we call it the file name such as test image which is tar.gz now this will basically um, put the test image into a, a file and store it in the local directory it does take a few seconds to run because it's gzip, so let's get that out of the way now. Okay, I've just shortened the sequence of this, but it just takes about 30 seconds. So what we'll do, we'll make sure it's there, and as you can see, it's there, and it's about 342 megabytes. Now, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna going to go over to the um, live machine, and we are going to SF, sftp into the test machine and grab this file and then do that so let's do that now so we're going to sftp into the live machine so we're going to log in as root at the ip address of the live of the test machine so which is 192.168.1.168 and then it's going to ask us for our password. And then we're logged in to the test machine via SFTP. So we can navigate the file structure. Um, so no GS, and then Docker images. So if we list what's in here, we should see that test file we just created. Now, in order to grab this into the current directory of the live machine, we basically just type get docker, sorry, get test image.tar.gz, which will then start the download from the remote machine into the current directory of the live machine with the same name. As you can see, it's starting to fetch. It's 72 megabytes per second, and that's all done. So we should have a local copy of that. So if we exit SFTP from the test machine, we'll go back to the live machine and we do a list of the directory contents, you shall see that we have a file that's just been created. Now, um, the step two of this process is we need to load this into Docker and then we'll basically do that. So let's do that now. So in order to load it into Docker, we basically use docker load and then a left arrow and then the name of the um, tar.gz file we've just downloaded. So test image .tar.gz. And what this will do, this will load it into Docker um, as an image ready for you to launch it as you see fit. So we press enter now and this will start basically uncompressing the gzip file, loading it into Docker, and takes quite a few quite a few seconds, but it does start up, as you will see, and then it will perform some magic. So it's loading through the layers. And like I say, it takes a few seconds just to do this. So as you can see, it's all loaded. So now on the live machine, if we do a Docker images, you will see that the test image has been copied over 
and is ready to load. So that's pretty much how you copy a image from a test machine via file and SFTP to a live machine and then load it into Docker. Thanks for watching.